look at this world, whoever believed that Jesus Christ is born of God, is a son of God, is born of God, he is a child of God. Whosoever means your name is there. Your name is there. When you are close to God, nothing will be possible to you. Sickness have no right over you. Marital problems have no right over you. But one thing you have to note is that always you must remember that someone died for you. And amen. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for He's a great God. Amen. And amen. May we be seated. May we be seated, people of God. Good morning. Greet your neighbor Emmanuel. Greet yourself, Shalom. Greet viewers all over the world. Good morning. Hallelujah. Those who have connected through Zoom, through Facebook, through YouTube, through Rafa TV, through Zoom. Greet them. Good morning once again. Hallelujah. Good morning, people of God. Good morning. It is well with you. Praise the Lord. Each and every, every one of us have come together to celebrate Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And that is why our meeting today take a little longer because we are celebrating Jesus Christ. Can you jump up, jump up on your feet and walk to three people, those at home, Look up, you look down, you look forward. You say, I celebrate Jesus Christ. And those that are in the church, you jump on your feet, announce to three people, say, celebrate Jesus Christ. Go to them and say, brother, celebrate Jesus Christ. Sister, celebrate Jesus Christ. You talk to yourself, you say, I celebrate Jesus Christ. Say that to three people. Then you say to yourself, I celebrate Jesus Christ. Yes, because you cannot look wonderful like this without going around announcing to somebody, to celebrate with you. Hallelujah. Many people are celebrating heritage and we are celebrating Christ. We are celebrating the King of Kings and the Lord of Law because we are heavenly citizens. Hallelujah. Our identity is in heaven. Our identity is in heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, my identity is in heaven. Tell your neighbor, my identity is in heaven. Tell yours all over the world. That my ID, my identification is from heaven and is in heaven because I am a heavenly citizen. I have my heavenly ID card with me, which is the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. May we be seated once again. May we be seated as we take our Bible and we look at Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Philippians 4 verse 8, it said, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things that are true, whatsoever things that are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Hallelujah. Do what? Think on these things. I want everyone to take a Bible. Take a Bible. People of God, just take your Bible. I want us to look at that Philippians 4, verse number. And again, let's look at it correctly. Let every one of us look at it. Look at it in your Bible. Philippians 4, verse number. Hey, everyone look at it. Look at it in your Bible. Hallelujah. And I want you to read it. I wanted to read it yourself. Philippians chapter 4, verse number 8. Verse number 8. Are you there? Okay, you read it. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are 
of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any prayers, think on these things. Hallelujah. Think on these things. Think on these things. Hallelujah. People of God. When you look at this message, you know, I mean, this Bible verse, this is the totality of the gospel. This is the totality of the gospel. And this is what Satan does not want us to do. This is what he does not want us to do. He does not want us to know it. Does not want us to do it. Don't, doesn't want us to act on it. Praise the Lord. He wants us to look at him. He wants us to concentrate at him. Instead of looking at the things that are good, things that are just, things that are lovely, things that are of truth, things that are of good report. But rather we look at Satan and his cohort, I mean his agent. We look at the modern things of the world. We look at discouragement. We look at sickness. We look at rejection. We look at name calling. We look at castigation. Look at how someone dress. What does it benefit you from that? Instead of looking at Christ, the author and finish of our faith, looking at good reports, looking at things that are lovely, looking at the things that are true, which is the Christ. He is a true God. He does not want us to look at the good things. He wants us to come with a bad report. Look, and that is why when Moses sent 12 spies to go and look at the land flowing with milk and honey, land that flow, flows with milk and honey, the promised land, when they come back, 10 out of 12 give bad report. No, we are not able. Oh, we are too small. We are too short. They are giant, they are big, they are that, they are this. Their wall is so large. Oh, we can't be able to climb the wall. We can't be able to open the gate. Oh, this, oh, that. Hallelujah. People of God, this is the problem of mankind. Tell you about this is the problem of mankind. Tell yourself, this is the problem of mankind. Because Satan knows very well. Don't ever think you are clever more than him. He sees inside. He sees beyond. And he doesn't give up. He's very, very consistent and very persistent. And that is why you have to be very resistant. The Bible says resist the devil and he will flee from you. When you resist him, he flew away from you. He departs from you. He does not depart in full. He departs in half. When he departs, he watch you. Praise the Lord. He watch and come again. Remember our Lord Jesus Christ, what happened to him? You can check that out in Luke chapter 4. Say, Lord God, chapter 4. When he was tested by demon after 40 days and 49, the Bible says, and he departed for a while. He departed for a while. And that is why our Lord Jesus Christ commissioned us that we have to pray continually. We have to watch and pray. We have to partake of the communion. We have to partake of his flesh and of his blood. Praise the Lord. He said, do this as often as you can 
in remembrance of me, do this. Because I am the bread of life. If you take your, your eyes away from me, Satan comes to the fall. The moment you take your eyes away, just for a second, he steps in. Is it that he tell you how you have been rejected in the church, in your family, at work, no one love you, in the house, no one care for you. Hey, the way that sister speak to me, I don't like it. The way the brother look at me, I don't like it. Oh, he hurt me. He touched me. Oh, he did this. This is what his mind. He do this. He did that. Always looking at those slight errors, little things, little little things. He looking for them, and that pulled one away from Christ. Satan steps in to destroy, to kill. Hallelujah. So people of God, you have to be very careful. When we say open heaven, our heaven is already open. Tell your neighbor, your heaven is already open. Tell your other neighbor, your heaven, your heaven is already open. Tell yourself, my heaven is already open. But if your heaven is open, why is, are you not seeing the manifestation of the blessings promised by the Father in your life. The reason is because you have been eluded. You have been eluded by the things outside Philippians 4 verse 8. You are working on things outside Philippians 4 verse 8. You are working on, you have gone out of Philippians 4 verse 8. Out of the ordinances. Praise the Lord. Out of the ordinances. Can you stand on your feet, people of God? Stand on your feet. Let's praise him. Stand on your feet. And uh, our songs today will be a very simple song. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. And that song will come from me. That song said, Jesus is the first. Jesus is the last. Jesus is the beginning. Jesus is the end. Hear it. My Lord is the first. My Lord is the last. My Lord is the beginning. My Lord is the end. That's the song. Can you think about it before we sing it? Just begin to think about your problems and think about Jesus Christ. I mean, just leave your problem and think about Jesus Christ as the first and last in your life, as the beginning and end in your life. Just go ahead and think about it. Continue to think. In a few minutes, Continue to think. Don't think whether you have committed yourself in totality to him. Think whether you have committed yourself in the study of his word. Think whether you have prayed the evil tree out of your life. Think about Jesus Christ. Jesus is the first and the last beginning and the end. Jesus is the first and the last beginning. Christ is the first and the last beginning and the end. Christ is the first and the last beginning. My Father is the first and is the last beginning and the end. Is the first and the last beginning. My Savior is the first and the last beginning and the end. Is the first and the last beginning and the end. Jesus is the first and the last beginning and the end. He 
is the first and the last, beginning and the end. He is the first and the last, beginning and the end. He is the first and the last, beginning and the end. Jesus is the first and the last, beginning and the end. Jesus is the first and the last, beginning and the end. Jesus is the first and the last, beginning and the end. Jesus is the first and the last, beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. Jesus is the first and the last, beginning and the end. He is the first and the last, beginning and the end. He is the first and the last, beginning and the end. He is the first and the last, beginning and the end. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is your song. This is your song. Now let me sing it. Don't put any instrument. Don't put anything. Just listen. When you are going anywhere, when you are doing anything, when you come before the queen, before the king, before the king of kings, before the Lord of lords, before your enemies, and you sing this song, believe me, every mountain become a plain. Now listen, let me sing it for you. Christ is the first and the last, beginning and the end. Christ is the first and the last, beginning. My Savior is the first and the last, beginning and the end. The first and the last, beginning. My Father is the first and the last, beginning and the end. Is the first and the last, beginning. My healer is the first and the last, beginning and the end. The first and the last, beginning. My Jesus is the first and the last, beginning and the end. Is the first and the last, beginning. My restorer, the first and the last, beginning and the end. The first and the last, beginning. My Christ is the first and the last, beginning and the end. First and the last, beginning. My Savior is the first and the last, beginning and the end. The first and the last, beginning. My Savior is the first in my life, beginning and the end. The first and the last, beginning. Christ is the first in my life, beginning and the end. Is the first and the last, beginning and the end. When you sing this song, finish, leave your house, go everywhere, you will definitely come back with a great testimony. I guarantee you this, write it down. You will surely come back with a great testimony. Even when you want to sleep, you will sing this song. After you sing this song, you say, I draw power from above and I cross out everything outside Christ and I nail it on the cross. I am free. In the name of Jesus Christ, you go where you want to go. You come back with a great deliverance. I mean, with a great testimony. Call your family members. Call them. Teach them this song. And I want the choir to go to the, auditor, go to the studio today. Okay, I give them tomorrow. Go to the studio or the choir. Get the trumpet, get everything and sing this song in the studio. Sing it correctly. Hallelujah. Sing it and you come back every time we sing it in the church as our national anthem. And you watch what is going to happen in the church. What, what is going to happen in the world. Anywhere there is crisis that this song is saying. That crisis made the first and the last. The beginning of that trouble and the end of that trouble. He takes charge. This is one thing people of the world does not know. And even they know it, they do not want you to act on it. Hallelujah. 
If Christ is the first in your life and the last in your life, you think of what server that is lovely, whatever thing pure, whatever thing true, whatever thing honest, whatever thing good report, you concentrate on them. You concentrate on them, you work on them, you act on them. And they become you, you become Christ. Praise the Lord. So this is the final of the kingdom. Look at your neighbor. Say, do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? Ask your other neighbor. Is Christ your first and your last? Your first, the first and the last. And say to yourself, Christ is my first. Christ is and it's my last. It's my beginning and it's my end. When Christ is everything in you, the five wounds, the blood that used out from his head, from his hand, from his feet, from his living side, become everything in you and heal you completely. Of every family, every sickness, every rejection. And when Christ is the beginning and the end in your life, you will never look any other thing other than to concentrate on him. You pray in season and love says it. Say thank you, Lord, for the revelation. Thank you, Lord, for the revelation. Say thank you, Holy Spirit, for the revelation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. May you be seated. May you be seated. This is the end of problems. Oh, my brother is sick. My sister is sick. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. Where is Christ in your life? Now heaven is open unto us, but where is Christ in our life? We are being distracted instead of concentrating on the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the auto and finish of our faith. Praise the Lord. People of God, this is the kingdom. This is the kingdom. This is the kingdom. When you feel pain in your body and you stand up and sing that song all night, the pain will vanish. When you feel rejected, rejection will vanish. You begin to enjoy acceptance. When you feel discouraged, you sing that song, courage come to you. That's why he said to Joshua, he said, be you courageous. Fear not, I am with you. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you. Hallelujah. So if the master say all this to you, why do you concentrate on things that are not of from him? Things that are not of him. Things that does not come from him. Oh, they call me name. I don't like the way they talk to me today. I don't like the way they, 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 they address the food. I don't like the food. Probably the food is poison. I don't like the water. Hey, maybe the water is not good. Oh, maybe the way that I, 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 I wrote the exam, I fell. How can you fail? Is your name failure? How can you be rejected? Is your name rejection? Hallelujah. Those things are not from God. They are not from the Father. Praise the Lord. So that is why you have to look unto him at all times. The reason why we read Psalm 1 and Psalm 121 every day it's because we are the tree he planted by the rivers of water. And if he is the one that, if we are the one he planted by the rivers of water, we have to look unto him. Because every tree grows to heaven. Every tree grows up. It does not grow down. Hallelujah. He takes the root down and it goes up. And no tree can live without water. No tree. No one created by the Father that has the prayer that can stay without water. The moment water goes out of your body, you are gone. That is why we have three things that bears witness in heaven and three things that bears witness on earth. Can we read it, please? First John chapter 5. Begin from verse number 1, please. From the church, I want someone to read for us. First John chapter 5, begin from verse number 1. Whoever believes that Jesus is, is the Christ is born of God. And everyone uh -huh. who loves him, who begots, also loves him, who is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. 
For this yes. is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever yeah. is born of God overcomes the world. Mm -hmm. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Yeah. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Mm -hmm. This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus yeah. Christ, not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the yes. Spirit who bears witness, because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, yeah. the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. And mm -hmm. there are three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three agree as one. Thank you. That's it. That's it. This is the gospel. When you look at this word, whoever believed that Jesus Christ is born of God, is a son of God, is born of God, he is a child of God. Whosoever means your name is there. Your name is there. So if you look at Philippians 4, verse 8, and look at 1 John chapter 5 verse 1 down to verse 8. What did you see? How do you compile that? I mean, how do you, how do you look at it? How, how do you see it? He said, it's the spirit that bears witness. He said, it's the spirit that bears witness. So not the flesh. That's why in spirit, one knows God. In flesh, no man knows God. Because the flesh is always in constant battle with the spirit. And Bible emphasized the Father. Said to be carnally minded is dead, to be spiritual minded is life and peace. Praise the Lord. And that is why Christ has to be the first in your life and the last. Then everything began to work in accordance with the primordial law, the law of the Father. Which walk in truth and stand for the truth. Praise the Lord. And finally, look at Mark chapter 12. Go to the book of Mark chapter 12, verse 30. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second one is like it. You shall love your neighbor Finish. as yourself. Finish. No, it's okay. That's the first. We stand for the first. Leave the second commandment. Because the moment you act on the first commandment, the second commandment is nothing for you. You will equally act on it. Because it's the second commandment that the first commandment that gives birth to the first to the second commandment. Praise the Lord. People of God, every day we talk about money, we talk about wealth. We talk about this, we talk about that. How many times have we talked about Christ as the first and the last in our life? So my message to you is this. Christ first in my life. Christ first in my life. Write it down. Christ first in my life. Write it down. That's the message of today. Christ first in my life. When Christ is the first in your life, heaven open, for, heaven continually be open for you. And the earth bears witness of the heaven that is open unto you. 
People around you began to see it. You began to enjoy it. Christ first. When Christ is the first, you concentrate on him. You don't look at how they look at you in the church, how you dress in the office, whatever your boss said, whatever your neighbor said, whatever anyone said. No, you look unto Christ. That is when he's first in your life. Anyone can try everything, but you don't look at everything because you're not, you not everything. They can say whatever they like. You are not whatever they like. You have the thought of God. He said, whoever is of God overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world. Our faith. Our faith in Christ. Whosoever, whatsoever is born of God overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world. Our faith. Our faith in Christ. We've got three things bears witness in heaven. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And three things bears witness on earth. The water, the blood, and the spirit. And they are one. In heaven, they are one. Here on earth, they are one. They are one. And you have to be one with them for you to be free from the operations of this world. For us to make heaven. So, people of God, good morning. Good morning. This message will continue on open heaven. We continue as we celebrate the Women's Week. I mean, the, 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 the heritage. And as we go into our celebration, of next Friday, the 28th. As we celebrate on the 28th. Hallelujah. People of God. I believe you agree with me this morning. That the problem of man. Is because we concentrate on demon. We concentrate on Satan. We concentrate on being distracted. I am poor. You are not poor. You can never be poor because your father is not poor. I am sick. You are not sick because your father is not sick. I am rejected. You are not rejected. But because of your word, because of your mouth, because of your mouth, because of your word, hallelujah, because of your word, Look at what he said in, in Psalm 34, verse 12 to 13. He said, What man is he that desire life and love many days, that he may seek good, keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking what? Guilt. Keep your tongue from speaking bad things. Keep your tongue away. Yes, Isaiah chapter 6 said, I am a man of unclean lips, and I live with the people with unclean lips. But if only we concentrate, on, we concentrate on the Father, we have a clean lips. Yeah, you can find it in Isaiah chapter 6 when you read from verse number 1 down. Praise the Lord. See, I'm a man of unclean lips. And I live with the people of unclean lips. So whoever desired long life and success should keep his tongue away from speaking evil. And then you begin to see the glory of the Father. You begin to see good things happening in your life and everywhere. People of God, you have never been rejected. No one is permitted to reject you. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, no one is permitted to reject you. Tell your neighbor, no one is permitted to reject you. And in other words, you're not rejected. Tell yourself, no one is permitted to reject me. No one is permitted to reject me. So whatever I want, I have it. Whatever I want, I have it. Whatever you want, you have it. Hallelujah. Whatever I want, I have it. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. As a man thinketh in his heart. What are you thinking? You are thinking about rejection, how they reject you. You are thinking about, what are you thinking about? So that's why they have power over you. But when you began to sing the song, Christ is the first and the last, beginning and the end, the first and the last, beginning. My healer is my first and my last, beginning and the end, the first and the last. 
beginning. My Savior is the first and the last beginning and my end. First and the last. And you don't finish, you go to office. Everybody will be afraid of you. The moment they look at you, they say, Oh, how are you, sir? Good morning, sir. Everybody begin to, even your boss will come and say, Good morning, sir, to you. Praise the Lord. The more everything will be subjected under you. And when, listen, 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 people of God. When you do this, in your room, you lock your room. You dance like nobody. And you rock it. You, you're not rocking. Eh? Then you twist your body. You know, my, you know, you know, see that from a TV Joshua, the way he used to rock it. He rock it. He rock it. He bend, he bend, he bend, he bend. Uh -huh. In the room. Not for anybody to see. For you dance for your God. Praise the Lord. Then you walk into that office. The moment you appear there, hello, wake up, sir. How are you, sir? You, somebody that wants to interview you will be saying, hello, sir. How are you, sir? He <laughs> said, there's no interview. Everything is done. Congratulations. The job is yours. I've given you this. But when you go there with the burdens in your shoulder, with the burdens, oh, I know. Hey, this man is going to reject me. This man is going to ask me this question. Hey, I don't know what he's going to ask me. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm right. I don't think I, I don't think. Hey, I don't know what the doctor is going to say. I don't know what the nurse is going to say. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because you don't know, you don't know. And what do you think you know, you know. What do you think you know, you don't know. Because you don't know, you don't know. Praise the Lord. Because you have pulled Christ out. Satan will want you to be dancing his music. He'll be telling you, yes, you're already rejected. Yes, you are sick. You are going to die on this sickness. Hey, that pain will never be over. Oh, this will happen. That will happen. And then you go with that mind. When you go with that mind, what happened? As the man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Say, Father, have mercy on me. People of God, I believe with this, everyone is delivered today. Hallelujah. I believe you are delivered today. And I thank God for those that are on Zoom, those on Facebook, those that are joining me, joining me on prayer every day. You are learning something. Please put it into practice. And those who have not been joining on Facebook prayer every day, please better join. Those who have not gone to YouTube to sub sub subscribe to our YouTube, sub our YouTube, please go and do that now. Go and do that. Don't ever think anyone can close their heaven from today. No one has that right to close a heaven. No power. No power. Except otherwise, you give them access into your, into your, into, into, into your house to do so. Into your house is what? Into your heart to do so. Praise the Lord. So it is well with you. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. Start your feet. Start your feet because if you allow me to talk, I will talk continually. I'm not going to close today. And look at the time is gone. Remember I said to you that every day by one o'clock we should be home. But anyway, I delay you today because there is food, there is celebration. There is fruit, there is celebration. There is Jesus Christ, there is celebration. Hallelujah. You look at the way you dress today. You dress so wonderful that anyone that look at you will say, wow, surely I see God in this one. I see God in this brother. I see God in this sister. I see God in this family. Hallelujah. Even look at those on Zoom. Hallelujah. I can see the way they dress. Praise the Lord. I can see from their face. From their face. You look at me. Look at the what I'm wearing today. Don't you know? We are celebrating. Huh? You know, they think they are the only one. Look at, I look at the mamas there. I say, wow. From Venda, from the belly, from this, from that. Yo. I look at Zoom. When I look at Sister Anna, I can see African woman arrive. African mama. I see Andrew. I say, wow. Eh? Praise the Lord. I see everyone. I was shouting. I say, wow. Why can't I also go and go to my wardrobe and get my own? Hallelujah. Thank God I'm a white man. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
You know, when I look at the way you dress today, I become very jealous. And because of that jealous, I went and changed my shirt. I wanted to put a suit today, but I changed my mind. Hallelujah. Congratulations. We love you. We love you. We love you. Tell your neighbor, I love you. Say to your neighbor, I love you. Say to yourself, I love you. Stay to heaven, I love you. The Father. Amen. People of God, you are free. Remember, Christ first in my life. The message, Christ first. When Christ become first in your life, everything began to work in line with the plan of God for you. Praise the Lord. And I tell you, no other one will, no one will take you to heaven. The Father said that to me. The Father said that to me. He said, no one will take you to heaven. It's only through Christ. And no one, no religion will take you to heaven except Christ. Because he made the clear, say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man goes unto the Father except by me. And that is why the Father said, Jacob is my, Israel is my firstborn. He said to Pharaoh, if you touch my firstborn, I will touch you. People of God, I want you to lift up your voice now. Let us pray for Israel. Let us say, Father, remember your promise to those who follow you. Remember your firstborn. Remember us. Remember your firstborn. Remember us. As you said, if we forget you, O oh, Jerusalem, let our hearts never perform his enterprise. If we choose not Jerusalem as our first, our chief joy, let our tongue cleave to, cleave to our jaw, cleave to the roof of our mouth. Oh, Holy Father, we pray for Israel. We pray for calmness. We pray for peace. And we pray for those that are attacking Israel. We have prayed for those that are attacking them. Father, change their mind. Send, change them. Let them know that we are brothers and sisters. We are one. Let the killing, stealing, and destruction cease right now. Thank you, Father, for the calmness. Thank you, Father. You did it before when you took your children out of Egypt. Do it again. Forgive our sins because sin is responsible. Forgive our sins from today. Forgive our sins. Forgive the sin of the land of Israel. Forgive the sins of your children. Father, we are all Israelites. We are the sons and daughters of love. Father, we pray calmness for Israel today. We pray for calmness to, the Christ, uh, to all the nations in crisis, Ukraine, Russia, Sudan, South Sudan, North Sudan, every Sudan. We pray for all nations all over the world. We pray for European nations. We pray for American nations, South American. We pray for the entire world. But most importantly, Israel, number one. Israel, number one. Christ, number one in our life. We pray for Israel. We pray for Israel. We pray for Israel. Thank you, Father, for the victory. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for calmness. Thank you for restore peace in that land. Thank you for your restored peace in that land. Thank you, Father, for you have secured your children. None, not a soul, we go again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you praise. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Father, we thank you for the word. Father, the word you have released unto us this day has brought a total transformation in our life. A total change in our life. Thank you, Holy Father. For the sick are healed. The rejected have enjoyed acceptance. Thank you, Father, for using your word today. For teaching us another song. For using your word to change our situation, change our story. Rewrite our history. Thank you, Abba. For our heaven, we continually be open forever. And no power can close our heaven. No power. We can never be distracted again. Because the moment distraction set in, close heaven sets in. Go report, we work on it. We work on things that is good, things that are lovely. Things that are peaceful, are joyful. We stand on it. Thank you for healing. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for lasting fire. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Can I hear this and say amen? And amen. People of God, your case is settled. Listen, go home and sing that song, and you'll come back on Sunday for testimony. I believe you have been blessed by this teaching series by Prophet Isaka. For more information, call us on Plus two seven eight eight four nine nine three nine seven plow two seven eight four 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 seven zero zero two zero one one four nine three zero five three one God bless you.